Once upon a time in old London town, an age-old ritual between buyer and seller plays out. I wish to purchase 100 of your finest boxes for sale in my fancy goods emporium. I have just the thing, sir. That will be tuppence halfpenny per box. Bah! You must take me for a fool, sir. I shall pay you two farthings per box and you should consider yourself lucky. But, but think of the poor orphans, sir. I cannot afford to feed them their porridge at these prices. I care not a fix, sir. I have problems of my own. A shopkeeper's lot is not a happy one. I shall return tomorrow and expect you to have sharpened your pencil. Good day, sir. Perhaps, if I'm to work on zero margin, not pay the cardboard supplier, perhaps this might work. Damn fool. Damn, I've run boxes. Up and saved me. <laughs> and what, may I ask, is this? <gasps> Why, it is a box, sir. As you requested, price two farthings. We shall have 100 of them ready at the factory gates this very morn. But this box has no bells or whistles. It lacks the zest, zing, and all zippity doo -dah to get my customers' juices flowing. Oh, get your juices flowing, darling. Bah! 24 hours, trousers. I shall return and demand satisfaction. He's a, indeed a hard man to please, but the children will eat tonight. I shall certainly see to that. Behold! A bright and shiny marvel. Still only two farthings. This box is flimsy and lacks structure. It has no strength and appears to be fashioned from a pauper's pocket. I, I needed to make some small adjustments, sir, in order to fund the twinkly adornments that will have your customers queuing all the way from the Strand to Pall Mall. I'm returning in five minutes with the tattered remains of their useless receptacle, demanding a refund, no doubt. No, sir, this will not do. This will not do at all. It seems to me, sir, that what you're looking for is some sort of magic box. One that will delight your customers, yet not cost the earth. One that will stand out from the crowd with its ingenuity and daring do. One that will be a reliable friend for years to come and put money in all our pockets. Yes, that's it precisely. Is that too much to ask for in this day and age? Perhaps not. And the rest, as they say, is history. Upon that very day, barely a century later, Magic Box International was born. And the spirit of Jebediah is here with us today, guiding us to make products that dare to make a difference, always looking for new ways to make customers happy.